Today I'm going to tie a version of the famous Watson Fancy. Uh, this is the Nymph version. Uh, it incorporates a couple of things that makes, well, seems to make trout go crazy here in Iceland. Uh, it's mainly the colors red and black. And we also have a white uh, uh, wing case on the fly. Uh, the hook I'm going to use is from Arex. It's called FW540. This is the barbed version of this hook, but I've bent down the barb, of course. Um, I have a three millimeter silver bead on the hook. You can go with gun smoke or black or that's maybe not gold and copper, but Definitely gun smoke and black and, and silver, that's what I use. I'm going to be using a black thread for this fly. This is just a classic 8 thread. Uh, the ripping. Red UTC wire. I'm tying this uh, in a size 10 for this video, but mostly, most of the time I, I use a size 12, maybe even a 14, but uh, for the video it's better to have a little bigger hook. Thread back up. Uh, the body of the fly is made out of uh, red wool. You can use stubbing. You can use, uh, I mean, you can use a red thread as well. If you're tying the fly, you can tie it with a red thread and finish it off with a black thread or something like that. But I like the wool. This was a fly I had pretty much uh, forgotten about. Uh, I was fishing Lake Þingvallava, which is a big lake here in Iceland, close to uh, our capital, uh, Reykjavik. Uh, maybe 45 minutes away, something like that. Um, I was trying for the Arctic char and all the flies I had, they weren't working. But I had this one box with old flies and saw the Watson Fancy and, uh, and I thought, hey, why not? And I had a great day. Since then, I mean, this, this was like three or four years ago, something like that. Since then, I always have a couple in my box. Wrap the wire. Now for the wing case, I'm going to use a teal flank feather. Uh, I've tied this also using, I mean, you can use pretty much any old white material that you have. I don't think the, the markings on the feather are doing some kind of a job for the fish, but I mean, it look, looks nice, but if you don't have a teal flank feather, just use some any other white feather or, or material that you have. And the thorax, uh, I use black eye stub. Uh, I've used other material materials as well, uh, other dubbing material that, that is. Uh, always black, of course. Uh, the main thing that I'm after for the dubbing for this fly is that the fibers in the dubbing is a bit, are, are a bit long. I'm gonna brush it out a little bit later, uh, so I want the fibers to 
you know, make the fly a little bit buggy. It's more difficult if you have dubbing with, with, uh, with extremely short fibers. As always, when I use a dubbing, I try to put just a little bit at a time. Keep adding until I'm happy. It's much easier to, to add some dubbing than to remove it. A few extra wraps behind the bead. Pull the teal flank forward. It's okay if you miss a few fibers with your, with your thread, you'll just cut them away. Try to position the fibers in the center of the hook. I'm not sure that the fish will mind, but it's good practice. Cut away the axis. And I like to finish the fly before I, before I tie it off, I like to finish with a little bit more dubbing, just to hide the, the cutoff here. One more time. some head cement on the thread before you tie it off. There you go. Uh, one last step before we finish, get your Velcro or dubbing needle or what you normally use, brush out the thorax bit. As you can see, the long fibers from the eye stub make this fly really buggy. Watch some fancy nymph. Tie some up for your box. Thanks for watching.